see guys what a pig as we say in france eating like a pig now i try to be a local and i eat like them <laughs> and I, I just end up standing everything oh what a disaster still have a lot to learn guys okay hello hello how are you fine you very well very well i remember you remember me yeah motorbike yeah. park here yeah, yeah. beautiful <laughs> my friends okay so i'm going with the beast <laughs> the legend now my two local friends Sherab and Eugen are gonna take me to where are we going brother? Baktapur. Baktapur. Apparently it's like a heritage site. Yes. There's a lot to see. I'm looking forward to it. I took the drone. Try to fly it. You can back the other Yeah. Back. It's okay brother. It's okay. Don't worry. I'll take your backpack. Yeah. I'll take it. Mr. Eugen and his scooter. So Mr. Ugin aka Iron Balls. That's the one you had in Mustang? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's the one. Yeah. The guy went to Mustang on a scooter, man. You have all my respect. Send me to Patty. Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Chalo, chalo. How do you say uh, let's go in Nepali? Chalo. Just chalo, eh? Yeah. So like, uh, like in Hindi? Yeah. Chalo, chalo. Chalo, chalo. See guys, I feel so safe with Sherab that I'm not even wearing a helmet. <laughs> nah, joke aside, I don't even have a helmet. Mine is at the workshop. Otherwise, of course, I would be wearing it. Always wear a helmet, guys. Yeah. Don't be like Frenchy, don't take stupid risks. Yeah. But sometimes, if you don't have any, well, you, you have to, to do it out. So now, leaving Tamil area, it's gonna be at least, yeah, maybe 30 minutes, 30 minutes ride. Uh, maybe more than that. Maybe even maybe more. To uh, Baktapur. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at him! <laughs> what is that uh, building, brother? It's a Singha Darbar, you know. What is that? It's a Singha Darbar. Uh, it's uh, like a. It's a government Darbar. building? It's a palace, you know. Palace? The palace uh, made in uh, time of Rana, you know. Oh, okay. Rana is a uh, caste, you know. A caste, eh? Yeah, caste, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, so, but now it's just like a, what a is government, it? Government, uh, government, government office or something? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. government office. You can find the uh, home ministry. Home ministry? Yeah. The home ministry building is also inside this compound. Ah, okay. Take it. Man, this is beautiful. So this is it, this is Bhaktapur. One of the entrance of Bhaktapur. Oh, okay. So one of the uh, entrance of Bhaktapur. My, my new chauffeur told me. I think it's famous for its uh, architecture. Yeah. It's a pretty much a historical uh, and cultural uh, uh, site. Yeah, very nice houses. Open up your camera now. Man, that looks marvelous. Okay, car park. That's what you get for 1500. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Entry, entry. Okay, so that's that's the entrance guy to a beautiful zone, beautiful architectural zone, some massive sculpture. And um, just for you to know, the entrance fee was 1500. Uh, so it's not it's not cheap for foreigners. It's free for locals, of course. My mates insisted to pay for me, so oh, I don't even know what to do anymore, guys. I want to. Maybe I should try to. Let me try. Let's see if he's let's see if he's going to notice anything. He didn't notice. I feel it. I feel it, man. <laughs> Come on, El, don't. Skip it. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. It's very nice of you. I'll, I'll have to find something to buy you by the end of the day. Okay. So you were you were telling me, you know, the, the the guide was coming to me and he was like, yeah. 
yeah. we need a guide. I was like, I have two. I don't need a guide. I have two already. And you know what he said? Yes. Nah, they don't know anything. I said, you don't know them. Anyway, yeah, you were telling me something about the uh, houses. You know, uh, when we are entering the Bhaktapur, yeah. have you seen the uh, old building? Yeah. Especially the, the houses, yes? Yes. And as you can see, very the small, height, uh, yeah, height of the door is very small. Yeah, very, you know? very low entrance, yeah. As far as I know, you know, the primary reason for the for making the short length door is, yeah. you know, uh, to avoid the ghost, you know. Like, I don't know. The ghost? They can't enter the... They can't bend ah, themselves. Ah, okay. That's why, so, when they enter the door, you see, there? So it's a ghost here? Yeah, okay, like this one here. When they're coming from this way, their head, you ah, know? Ah, will hit the... the door, the, yeah. Yeah, okay. Turn, turn back and go back. I see. Yeah, when they come, uh, I mean, uh, they just say, like, they just uh, move straight. They don't, they, they, they don't bend. So ah, okay. So they can enter the... Uh, so it's a ghost trap. <laughs> yes. That's pretty smart. Uh, wow, that is beautiful, man. Wow. Man, the architecture is unbelievable. So, 55 window palace is this one. Did you just read it on the guide? No, no, no. <laughs> Learn it in our social studies, you know. Oh, okay, nice. Well, so, repeat, 55? Window palace. 55 window palace is here. In Nepali, we call it Pachpanna Chale Darbar. Say again? Pachpanna means 55. Okay. Chale means window. Okay. Darbar means palace. Okay, so I thought you said Dalbat, so I was like... Darbar. I already had too much Dalbat. Okay. Oh man, check that out. Wow, that is beautiful. You see, that was the building. 55 yeah. window palace. Yeah. Paspanna Chale Darbar. Oh, okay. Yeah. Darbar. So Darbar means palace. Yes. At least I learned the word in Nepali. Ugin was just telling me that the building just behind, that this is a pagoda. You you, you were saying that it got destroyed by an earthquake. Like in this uh, particular uh, what what uh, landmark? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was uh, it got destroyed in the 2015 earthquake. Earthquake, yeah. Yeah, and after uh, it took uh, quite a time. I, I think it uh, to rebuild it. Yeah. Uh, rebuild it. Yeah. Yeah. Last it looks time I fresh. came, it was uh, still in construction. So oh, okay. It took, it took around five years. I guess. Oh, okay. It's, it's a slow process. But do you know what, what do you call this kind of building? Do you, is there a name for it or no? Just a pagoda? Well, uh, I think I need to ask you. Know? Oh, it's okay, but don't worry about it. Maybe yeah, don't worry about it. Pagoda is well Pagoda is like uh, Japanese, Chinese, more, more of a Most white today. dome, white dome shape. Oh, okay. This looks uh, oh, different. Yeah, it okay. is quite related to the Buddhist culture. Oh, okay. My, my, all of these are related to Hindu culture, so I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Bad with history. I told you I found the best guide. He's he's learning at the same time as me and he explains everything to me. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get a nice tip, brother. At okay. the end. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, we go inside? Cool. Oh, we can check it out, yeah. yeah let's go. Where is uh, Ugen? Oh, he's here. Um, okay. We have the, uh, the, the wheel, praying wheel. Nice. Yeah, the, the architecture is crazy. It's a lot of details. It's, uh, it's really lovely. Oh, so that, that's more like a pagoda, you would say? Yeah, uh, that's that one. Ah, okay. Pagoda, uh, this, this, is, this is stupa. Actually. Stupa, okay. Pagoda is more like a... Pointy? More pointy and more vertical than stupa. Yeah, shape. okay. This this temple here we are here is it Buddhist or Hindu temple? Because it, there is a uh, you know the two creatures again they are here that mm -hmm. reminds me of uh, Hindu. Mm -hmm. But then there is a you see like a monk there mm -hmm. looks more like Buddhist. From what uh, from what I know uh, looks like more like uh, more like a Buddhist. Buddhist, yeah. yeah Buddhist. Because Nevari is, is also a Buddhist. 
In ne Nepal. Newari is a caste in Nepal. Caste, yeah, they follow the Buddhist religion. And they follow Buddhist religion. Okay. So what are the main castes in, in Nepal? So you have Takali? We have uh, yeah, many. Yeah? Of many. Okay. Takali. And what, what are the main three? We don't have like the main three. Okay. Lots of, it's lots of them. Lots yeah. Of Takali, yeah. We have Newari. Yeah. We have Sherpas. Okay. So we have a lot of. A lot of them. Nice. So it's 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 like uh, it's more like uh, people uh, different uh, caste follows different religions. Yes. So that each okay. caste, each religion who follows the so each caste who follows different religions. Different are, religion. Different yeah. Varieties of caste. So yeah. Yeah. Not so good. And Ugen Ugen was telling me that uh, those uh, like temples like this are usually looked after by caste. Oh uh, yeah. And most, that yeah, yeah. by the Nepal community. Yeah, by the neighbor community, and then it can go from a family to another when it comes to like maintenance and yeah. you know just preserving the the, the 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 site pretty much. So it's good. It's good stuff. You should have just asked me. You should have just asked me, brother. Let me ask him. Could I ask you something, please, brother? Those two creatures. What do you call them? No, so the singer, singer. These are the lions. Yeah. Protector. Protector. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Singer. But the, the, the local name is Singa. 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 Because Sing is lion, right? Yes. Singa. Yeah. Yeah, I just know that from the beer, Singa. It's a lion on it. <laughs> See, that's my, those are my references, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's so nice. It's so nice, man. My poor brother. Barcelona. Yeah, what's right? <laughs> Just kidding. Man, those small streets are lovely, eh? Yeah, it's all ancient architecture. Looks good. Yeah. Beautiful painting here. This temple is called, you know, La Place. Tomadi. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. the French version. Is it La Place, Miss? La Place, yeah, in my place, yeah. Okay, Tomadi. Tomadi. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yes. Wow. Place Tomadi, guys. I see the French way. Let's see, there are, you know, like so many guards, you know? Yeah, I can see the elephants, lions, uh, humans with very big uh, ears. Yes. Wow, this place is unbelievable, man. Really? Yeah. Tomaji, eh? Yeah. Tomaji. Yeah, Tomaji, yeah. Wow, yeah, this is so pretty, guys. Loving it. Man, this one is unbelievable. I, I lost my mates. It, it looks like, uh, you know, I was expecting to see much more uh, tourists, but. Uh, it's it's a city guys I, I, you know i tend to forgot i just forgot you know there's a lot of locals because a lot of people are just living around the place hello what's going on brother yes we are holding vlog yeah brother do you have youtube channel i do man i do I can do. you share your youtube channel yeah sure man <laughs> keep supporting him guys bye guys like and subscribe danny evad thank you guys namaste, namaste. namaste. take care guys bye. thank you bro bye Okay, I lost my two mates. Oh, there they are. Man, I love that place. So, you know, I, w I was thinking like there's a lot of locals because obviously it's also a city. A lot of people are living around here. Yeah. Uh, I was expecting to see like a lot of more Western tourists, but uh, most tourists here are just local tourists, actually. Yes. Yeah. But you know, uh, sometimes, you know, even the foreigners also come here. Yeah, of course. Yeah, now we saw some foreigners, but. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually surprised, like, where are you foreigners? Come here! Most it's the best place of Kathmandu, honestly. Most of them are the of campus. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, true, we can see a few of them actually there. Three of us together? Yeah, let's do it. Bro, did you know that Bhaktapur is the smallest city in Nepal? Is it? Yeah, it is by, by uh, area, you by know? Area. Uh, obviously, you have, like, smaller villages and stuff, mm -hmm. but city among cities among cities Bhaktapur is the smallest in nepal you are welcome guys make sure you tip me at the end of the visit 
sure, sure, sure. <laughs> you are not aware of that. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. Where are you going? Is you understand English a little bit? Ture Ture English? Ture Ture? Yeah? We are going to Hotel Batra. Oh, okay. It's beautiful clothing, eh? So that's it guys for the uh, the video Bak Baktapur. Is it Baktapur? Eh? Baktapur. Baktapur. Yeah. So thanks to my uh, guide my two local mates mr Sherab and again which is behind you know so what? i'm the very traditional uh, ladies behind us yeah tell me brother i asked this lady what is it what is this yeah and she said this is the, like you know like a dress of a mahakali it's a goddess you know okay yeah okay i see ah some guys as well hello hello, hello. beautiful brother so last coffee guys so with the boys we uh, went back to uh, downtown Kathmandu in on the very fancy area so uh, Ugen was telling me it's the most fancy area here in Kathmandu this is Kingsway right Kingsway and you have you know like commercial center let me show you actually yeah it's a lot of a uh, lot of shops it's a nice long straight wide avenue uh, and you have many uh, fancy shops as well, jewelries and all kind of brands. Uh, and yeah, the the lads uh, nicely decided to take me, you know, one last coffee before uh, before waving them goodbye. So uh, yeah, it was cool. We had a great time with my two local friends. We met in Mustang uh, like a week ago now or something. We had the the hardest ride of our lives together. <laughs> And uh, well, for you, bro, I told you, you've got bigger balls than normal because do it on a scooter is just unreal. Yeah, it's uh, very nice of them to take some time today to, to take me around. They took me to, to Bagdapur, like many beautiful temples, architecture. That was really nice. I really enjoyed it. Uh, so thanks again to them. And for me, guys, another couple of days here in Nepal. I'll pick up my uh, visa for India on Monday and then I'll start riding towards East India. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's video, the drone shots and all. I'll see you soon. Pachi Betonla. Pachi. Pachi Betonla. See you guys.